Hi, I'm Ross, and this is DIY on the House. Today, we are going to have a real good time. Real good time. Right on. <laughs> Today, we're going to actually build a, uh, a dining room table out of half of this reel end. Uh, this is actually a full reel, cable spool, or uh, cable reel. Um, and these are a couple other projects I've done. Uh, these are my son's for his back patio. One is a coffee table, and then the other one is just a, uh, a half table that fits against the wall. So today, um, we're going to make the dining room table, and it, it should be a good, good project and a lot of fun. So we picked up this cable spool and at a friend of ours uh, place that he actually does the aerial construction for the local power company. Um, but luckily we uh, you can find these on Craigslist. Uh, we, I, we brought up our local Craigslist um, and found that I don't know two or three different places were selling these uh, cable spools for twenty dollars each. So you get basically the whole spool. You get both the ends, uh, the center, and for 20 bucks, I think pretty good deal. And it makes a really, really cool looking table. This is actually going into our little uh, guest house. And it's, a, it's fairly small. So I want to do just a little half table in there. And looking at this, I was going to cut it straight in half, right down through here. Now I started looking at maybe I want to cut it here because these would make great spots for salt and pepper. Um, don't know what this one's going to be yet. Maybe a cup holder. I'm not sure, uh, but we'll figure that out as we go along. And I'll, I'll ask Kara, my wife, uh, see what kind of ideas that she has for it. So the materials we have to build the table today, all we purchased all those off of Amazon. And these are half inch fl uh, floor flanges or great or ceiling flange, 18 inch half inch pipe nipples, 12 inch half inch pipe nipples, and just a couple half inch tees. And then I just got various tools, my uh, cordless driver, a uh, couple uh, uh, channel locks, screws, sawzall, and of course my gloves and my seam glasses, which are also for protecting my eyes, and a little bitty sander. So let's go ahead and we'll get started. So we've got our tabletop cut and I'm going to go ahead and make the frame first and then fit the top on top of the frame. Okay, so my plan is, I've never built one of these so it's just going to be kind of learning along. I'm going to do this, I'm going to put a T here, T here, and a T over here, and I'm going to, oh I did need four of them, one second, I'll be right back. Uh, and this one will be here and then I'll screw all the uprights. So I'll assemble it, we'll see how it's working uh, as we go. Uh, but it's fairly, actually really simple uh, um, frame.
just so you know, that growling noise in the background is actually my dog. It's not my stomach or other bodily uh, noises that typically come out of me. <laughs> so it's just little, our little dog, uh, little dog socks. And our dog Lee has got him blocked, so he's a little ticked off, I think. As you can see, this is actually super simple. And if you have somebody that has kind of a vintage look or industrial look to the house, um, these are just really cool looking. Okay, we'll get these tops tightened up. Okay, and we'll uh, put the top on. At this point, uh, if you're building one uh, out of the metal or the uh, pipe, and you want more of a uniform look, you can just go ahead and hit with some spray paint. We did that on our other projects. They came out pretty good. Um, we're going to go ahead and leave this one as is and go with more of an industrial look. So I've got everything built as far as the framework, got the top on, and I'm going to go ahead and attach the top and uh, get everything secured down. And then um, this is actually uh, for my daughter. So she just uh, basically wants it uh, verithane. So we'll verithane it probably several coats give it a nice uh, deep looky look to it and a vintage look to it. Okay, I'm just going to use some uh, two inch uh, drywall screws. Okay, so some of these nails um, from the construction of the cable reel are poking out. So I'm going to go around. I just got my nail set and I'm just going to go and knock those in a bit. Okay, got all the nails knocked down um, to where one of them is fairly smooth. And we're going to just take a uh, small sander, maybe use an orbital one as well, and uh, I'm going to, just going to have a real Good time at doing that, and I'm not spooling. <laughs> All right, everything's sanded. Uh, so if I run my hand along the edges, uh, I'm not picking up any splinters. That's kind of the main thing on these. These are pretty rough. So uh, next step is going to put some Verithane on and uh, let it dry, and that'll be it. It's ready to roll. So there we have it all completed. Uh, we've everything the top. It has a couple coats on it, and uh, that should do just fine for uh, for any spills or anything. Uh, as far as on the uh, floor, the, we have that flange, and we're going to put a felt on the bottom of that because I don't want uh, in our guest home. It's got um, a linoleum floor, and I don't want it to actually cut or affect that. So on yours, you can do whatever if it's on tile or concrete, no big deal. On any soft material, uh, may want to put some padding under it so it doesn't scratch it up. As always, if you enjoyed the project, I just appreciate a thumbs up. Uh, leave a comment if you'd like, and uh, we're actually going to be doing another one of these, a nightstand, on another video, which uh, should turn out really cool. And also the subscribe button. Uh, we have a lot of uh, videos on our channel. If you'd like to check them all out, just subscribe. So we appreciate you watching, and uh, thanks so much. Mm -hmm.